Elizabeth, I know you're anxious, but just hold on. If you need the toilet, go use your mother's grave. I'm sorry, that's incredibly dark and inappropriate. But you wanted to chop her hand off, so you know. Which is more disrespectful, honestly? <laughs> sorry, I'll stop looking at her. Um, the, the quote at the beginning of the game was... Ah, uh, crap, what was it? I've gone it word for word, but it's... Basically, the mind will struggle to create memories when none exist. So the the logic behind that is when Robert Lutess moved over into Rosalind Lutess's uh, universe, this oh, this universe, he um, his soul had no memories of this reality, so it had to use hers. But that doesn't make sense. Because it does have memories. It has memories of his one and then crossing over. Going back to the analogy I had before of um, the different tears going somewhere that has ice cream rather than creating an ice cream shop in order... Oh, sorry, it's all movement. It's a piece of cloth. Um, rather than creating a place that has ice cream. This is like um, going somewhere that has ice cream and then saying, oh yes, I remember being at my house. You don't go... Well, this ice cream shop, I must have lived here my entire life. No, of course not. That's fucking insane. That doesn't make any sense at all in any kind of continuity. That is just for the sake of this. <sighs> and likewise, the living and dead thing. There must be a soul, because if these two people are both dead, which it highly suggests that they are, even though their graves are empty, then um, they must be... It must be their soul that exists outside of the physical realities. Are you with me? <sighs> yeah. I do like this game for the aesthetics, for the... Wow, that's quite flashy. Bank of the Prophet. Um, For the aesthetics, for the gameplay is very good, although hard is, is more trying than normal difficulty was particularly with our heavy hitters. Uh, but the plot is making less and less sense the more I think about it. Okay. Let's move on at last. My god, sorry, I, I, I hope that wasn't boring to, to listen to. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. Uh, how can... There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. I don't know what that means. So, look, it has completely stopped floating now, that building. That hasn't moved. Um, how can she alter time? <sighs> that implies that... I mean, I suppose that's, that's part of the point of what he was saying about, oh, if you could look at time as it truly is, it, it, it is implying that all time exists simultaneously. Which isn't a theory that I've ever really liked the idea of, personally. I suppose I've not really thought about it at great length, but yeah. Considering she's flying, why are we seeing footprints? Because she flies. Ah! Did they... S what is going on? Oh. oh wow, I just got completely fucking surrounded. Yeah, I'm going to try to do that when I'm not getting murdered. Hey, come here. Oh, imagine if you could do it in such a way where they get hit by their own shots. That would be fantastic. Ugh, where is he? Ow! It's fine, Elizabeth. I got this. Come here, you prick. Oh! 
How are you not dead? Ah, oh, fucking hell. You're pissing me off, Vox. Piss off. Holy shit. Okay, are we good? Have I been in here before? Yes, I have. Ah, now I can go in here. It's locked. Open this, please. All done. Uh, it's a tear. There's something in there. Should I open it? There's always something in there. Why are we like? <gasps> there's a. T oh my god, a tear! It's not like there are fucking five of them in that street alone. Hang on, I'm just gonna loot the place first. Money. I'm stuck. A load of pictures in a tennis racket. Oh, lock picks, nice. Portraits. Anything else in here? Purse. Oh, I see this is where he takes his nice fancy photos. Okay. Look, you two are here. I took your funeral photo. Yes, and made an absolute hash of it. One doesn't expect a picture of one's cause. It's come across so lifelessly. So they're dead. What and did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection of... Um... I don't know. That makes no... F what? That made no sense. Yeah, there's a Vox phone. That made no sense. I mean, to be honest, it makes more sense of the whole... She can... Remember being dead and alive and somehow going feral. I mean, it, to be honest, it doesn't make sense that it brings people back to life and that they so, somehow fucking remember it, because surely there have got to be lots of... Wait. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Because, like, when we went through a tear, uh, we walked through the uh, impound or wherever it was, uh, killed a load of... Oh, it was the Good Time Club. We went through the Good Time Club. I killed a load of guys on the way. And then we went through the tear into the one where the guns were in the lockup. Oh no, oh no, where Chen Lim wasn't in the lockup. And then we came back out. And although we're in a different universe, we've gone to a different version of, of the world. The people were there. No, she's standing on tiptoes. There's, the people were there. But they were alive and they remembered being dead. Makes no fucking sense. They should not have remembered that. Even if there is a soul. Because there are lots of realities in which I died, Booker died, like this reality. But of course, none of the other fucking realities are, are related to it at all. None of the other realities go, oh, holy shit, I'm dead in a different reality. No, because they're completely unconnected. Why were they connected in that instance? <sighs> Maybe it was because Elizabeth passed through. Maybe Elizabeth was the connector. But again, why would that not have affected me? Oh, yes. That's insanity. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days. Fink, you naughty bastard. Oh, is that Cunningham? That might actually be him. Oh, never mind. No, nope, never mind. It's one of the 50 clones of the same guy. Oh, shitting hell! Um, um, Bronco. Oh, cocking hell. Elizabeth. Oh, hey. Uh. Do you want some Berties? Yeah, you do. You definitely want some Berties. Who doesn't want Berties?
Whoops, clicked off. Oh hey. <laughs> he walked into it. Nice. Yeah, no, you just stay up there for a bit. Do your little cartwheel impression. I'll help. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I'm really glad I extended the uh, duration of that. That was amazing. Zigzag, 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 death. Zigzag, 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 loot. Zigzag, 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 loot. Zigzag, 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 loot. Zigzag, loot. What? Yeah, you deserve this. Even though you have a really cool half scarf. Right. That made me jump. I'm gonna go re refill my ammo. Did they come out of here? What did this place have to do with my mother? That's a very good question. And why are there so many more corpses in here? There aren't. I just didn't loot a couple. Ooh, what was that? Oh. Okie dokie then. Nothing at all incredibly creepy about this. Elizabeth. Look, Elizabeth, don't sulk. We need to go into the bank to find your ghost mother to chop off her hand so that we can go and interrogate and murder your father. How does that sound? Does that sound like fun? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Come on. Come on, Elizabeth. Good girl. I'm sorry, that was so patronising. Not what I intended. Ooh, your hair is all ghostly. Like mother, like daughter, am I right? I'm sorry. Yeah, we are surrounded by corpses. Hmm, I wonder if there's going to be a fight in here. Okay, I've just turned off adaptive training, so hopefully that'll get rid of all of these bloody basic things so that 20 hours into a game it doesn't say, hey, did you know you can use vending machines to buy things? Thanks, game. Totally didn't know that. Oh, cock. Oh, you will? Ah. Oh. Well, that's just really awkward then. I don't want to go where you just went. Don't stop firing, you dead prick. Oh god, there are so many of them. And I'm very low on health. Okie dokie. Oh, fuck's sake. Ooh, that was good. I swear it's auto-locking on. Look. Didn't show that time, but... Oh, hey. I swear, sometimes when I shoot with the sniper, I don't actually have to be directly on. I don't know if it's a hitbox issue or a lock-on issue. I think that one was on. Um, yes, that was totally on. Or, oh no, see, my point is proven one way or the other. Oh, it's another one. Do you mind? Hmm. I think that one missed. Oh yes, my point is proven. Or, you know, blah blah blah. Well, I'm glad I had the high ground for that fight. That would have been annoying otherwise. Well, looting a bank is always very profitable. Isn't that right, Elizabeth? You know all about looting banks. Oh, you do know all about looting banks. Thank you very much. So what I've done is uh, I've Seems right up your alley. Uh, no written down all the different combinations of vigors for me done. to try out. And some of them are very unintuitive. Why would I bother doing some of these? But some of them are useful. So I'll uh, do my best to show them off this time. Uh, the other thing is that 2K have now announced a new studio to build, uh, to to do these uh, 
the next in the Bioshock franchise. Oh, that's going to be so fun. Uh, I can't talk about why that's such a bad idea until the end of the game, because wow, that is a giant pool of blood appears to be coming from nothing. Yeah, you'll see more towards the end of the game, but similar to the original Bioshock, this game didn't exactly line itself up for sequels, and I don't reckon it will be a full sequel like Bioshock 2 was to Bioshock 1, but I do reckon it will be a spiritual sequel, or a, you know, it'll be like Bi like Infinite, I imagine, where uh, it's set in the same universe, but you don't find out until later on, despite the fact that it's going to be pretty obvious by this point, because it's the fourth game in the series. And it's called Bioshock. It's not doing the Far Cry thing, where they're all individual from the beginning. They're all connected. But anyway, uh, that's my guess. Um, but yeah, I can't talk about why exactly it's such a bad idea, but you will see, I promise. And that is a giant vault. Footsteps seem to go down to the vault. But that's the vault. Unless it's a decorative vault. I'd have a decorative vault. I think vaults are very stylish. I want a bunker. I want to own a bunker. Not to live in, just just in case, I guess. Where am I going? Oh. Locked door. Oh. Oh. Lots of corpses. Hello, friend. I mean, he's not their friend. All right, let's see. Oh. Type three letters to spell the voice. Three letters. V O X. V O X. Shocker. Try the typewriter. How did you know this is the place? Was it just that little bit? Elizabeth, you made me stand in the blood. Hmm. I think this is the very last infusion. Or maybe it nice. does go to 11. Voxophone. Nice. Uh, Lady Comstock. So, I'm annoyed about this. Shocker. There's something in this game that's annoying me. Um, the way that we keep finding voxophones related entirely to what we're currently doing. So, as soon as Elizabeth goes, Oh yes, I heard about these two. They died years ago. And then it's like, In this voxophone, I'm talking about how I died. Or, oh no, no, it, was, uh, it wasn't quite that cut and dry. It was... Uh, these two are scientists, and they invented the uh, the Lutes particle, and then we find a voxophone being like, I'm Lutes, and I invented the Lutes particle, and so on, and now it's like, oh, we're, we're looking into Lady Comstock, and holy crap, we're finding Lady Comstock stuff everywhere. I know the Prophet is a liar, but he cannot be. I know the Prophet is a murderer, but he cannot be. What's that? 50% of everything people earn here goes right to Comstock as a tithe. I gotta get me a job in the profit business. But what use does he have for this money, exactly? Because in... In Colombia, surely he gets everything he wants. Because he's the dictator, basically. So why does he need the money? I've got to listen to that again now. I know the prophet is a liar, but he cannot be. I know the prophet is a murderer, but he cannot be. For if the future lies only in the imagination of God, why would he reveal it to such a monster? I'm getting real tired of her in general, really. I'm just getting really tired of her. Become harder to detect. Oh, just robots. Uh, no, the ammo's better. Yeah, I'm getting really, really tired of her because basically every single one of her audio logs is the prophet is awful, but I know he can be... I know he's actually good, or the prophet is awful, but how can I judge him? Or the prophet is awful. Lol. I don't know. You know, 
don't know. I don't know. You know? I don't know. Okay then, the vault, I guess. It's this way. I saw that. Did you see that? Okie dokie. I don't like this place all of a sudden. And these doors are locked still, so I assume there are enemies behind them. Singing makes me feel better. Do da do da. Singing makes me feel better. Let's throw birdies at people. You know how that great song goes. <sighs> ah. That's okay. Phew, if it's a teleporting guy. I'm sorry. What was that? What was that? Oh god, a sniper really? Here? <laughs> Seriously, Bertie's making things trivial. Ooh, you mean prick. <laughs> they glinted even after he died. Ugh. What a terrible place for a sniper. Quick, set up at this corridor with lots of cover so that people can get incredibly close. That's a lockpick set. Is 30 the maximum? Because I've got 30 at the moment. I didn't know there was a maximum for lockpicks. I didn't know that you got that bloody many of them. Hmm. Guess it doesn't matter that I knocked that guy off the uh, uh, the world ages ago. Just like, pushed him off. This would be a much better place for a sniper. Somewhere where I'd have to charge down an open corridor. Well, running around like a streaker. It's not really making me afraid of him now. That was a bit too obvious. Oh. Yeah, there he is again. Really does look like some sort of streaker. <laughs> they're not going to see me, I'm so sneaky. Oh, they're just dead people everywhere. Spectral sidekick. Dropping a weapon creates a ghostly ally for a few seconds. What's the comparison? <sighs> I'll take it, that sounds interesting. But if I recall, it's not very good. I think I tried using it in the past, but didn't get along. Bloody hell, Elizabeth. You just jumped over me. Point of no return. Which will be the perfect time for an ambush. Hmm. It's gonna loot the place as much as I can first. Got a lock here. Lockpick and a vox phone from Lady Comstock. Does no one come here? Ready. There are so many incriminating voxophones just everywhere. Like Lady Comstock repeatedly saying, that bitch ain't my daughter, and the prophet is a wanker, and so on. I mean, I don't think she's actually said the words bitch or wanker, but you know, paraphrasing. Tess says the bastard is a creation not of her womb, but of some unholy science. I do not know which is true. The child is no more divine than I. What says that for my husband's prophecy? He begs my silence, but I can only offer him forgiveness. But with repentance need come truth. I can suffer his lies no longer. I can only offer him forgiveness, but I really don't forgive him for any of this shit he's ever done. I really... Ugh, I'm tired of her now. I mentioned that before, but I, I'm really just... I'm just so tired of her.